Hello again. This is tutorial number two from the multiple comparison playlist and in this tutorial I'll briefly talk about the comparison and analysis of DNA sequences in terms of the content of DNA sequences of adenine and the contents of um, certain pieces of DNA sequences. We mentioned that we specify the search for or our search for intronic regions and we will work on the intronic regions in this tutorial and I'll try to correlate the adenine content or proportion to the specific um, kind of um, data which is the um, metabolic rate weight specific metabolic rate and see whether there is a direct or indirect correlation between them or there is a positive or negative correlation between the two so for the sake of this, this tutorial, we need to import BioPython. So we write down from bio import seek.io and then import pandas. We need pandas as pd. We need to declare a variable called DNA MUS for mus musculus. So we declare this variable to contain the DNA sequences that have been downloaded, which also contain the intronic region. So let's have a look. This is the file which I'm going to parse here and assign the data to this variable. The file contains a, a list of introns and I want them to be contained within the variable here. Next, what I will do is to assign another or declare another variable. So let's say this is variable number two. And in this variable, what I'll do is that I'll join all of these intronic regions and count adenine in them. So I can just actually count adenine in each one of them, which is the easier method to do. So let's go ahead and do that. To parse the DNA sequence, we need to, or DNA sequences within a FASTA file, we need to call the representatives within the DNA sequences and use a list comprehension to do so. So we write down seek underscore record dot seq for seek underscore record in seek io dot parse so this is how you parse the dna sequence like what we went through in the previous tutorial then you copy and paste the name of the file that you have then followed by a comma and the type of the file that you have which is faster file after that we declare the second variable we call it mus for mus musculus which is uh, mice or mouse adenine count ACNT for adenine count then we need to have a formula and the one that I wrote here is to sum all of the adenines that have been counted and round them up divide by the, divided by the length of the DNA sequences so the length of this DNA sequence here all right, so to do so, you write down sum, and then the list comprehension goes here. We write down round, and we need three open brackets, or parentheses actually. Write down i.count, open close parentheses, adenine. So we count adenine. Then divide this by the length of the DNA sequence. So we have DNA underscore mus. Close this parentheses and for the round we round it to zero. We don't want more than that. And then write down for i in DNA underscore mus. So this is for counting the 
adenine count adenine in mos musculus so we can double check whether we have a problem here or not so we can print this out print open close curly brackets zero is the adenine count in mos musculus dot formats so copy and paste it here the name of the variable save and run this to see whether there is a problem in it or an invalid syntax so we have this wrong yeah so that was an extra close parentheses Spelling mistake in the len. This is length. Yep. So 12% is actually the adenine count. So we can write down percent here to see if it's worth it. Yeah, 12% is the adenine actually proportion. This is proportion. in that species that we took the DNA sequence from. So this is just to double check, you can comment this out. I did the same thing for the other species like rat, homo sapiens and gorilla as well as philiscatus and so on, all of the other species that I have. So just copy and paste that for the sake of this tutorial. I don't want to waste too much time rewriting it so now we need to have a list containing all of the adenine proportions so this should be assigned to a variable I named it as all adenine proportions or just proportion in a list so for must like what we did we just write down the name of the variables And for the others, like adenine count in Homo sapiens, gorilla, and this is for cow. So we can also print this out to see whether everything is neat. Yeah, so these are the proportions from the species and from the FASTA files containing the DNA of those species. Well, we don't need this one as well here. This is just to double check. Now for the species names, I have a list of species names which can be plotted later on. So you can write down SP names equals the name of the species like you can have moss species or musculus ratus species well, these are strings you can write them the way that you would want to homo underscore species or sapiens the same goes for gorilla and boss taurus boss or species so these are the name of the species that I'm going to show you can download DNA sequences from as many D and as many species as you would want to for these species I searched online to get uh, weight specific metabolic rates and I got the data from different websites and different texts so we can declare a variable containing the weight specific metabolic rates so for for the first one which is mass musculus it was 1.59 for rat it was 0 0.84 and for homo sapiens it was 0 0.228 and for gorilla it was 0 0.20 
for cow it was not point one two seven so this these are data for weight specific metabolic rates in those species weight specific metabolic rates now we can create a dictionary so that we have all those information um, in a dictionary I can write down my dictionary or dict briefly as a dictionary so to make a dictionary you open close curly brackets and then you need to have the name of the variables here so for example this one is equal to species names so I have species names here then comma then for SMR weight specific metabolic rate this is equal to SMR the same goes for proportions so you can say adenine proportion or percentage let's say is equal to all adenine proportion this is the variable so you just yeah now we can create a data frame calling pandas our data frame is equal to pandas pd dot data frame and this can contain the dictionary so the dictionary here is called my dict this is the dictionary and we set the index to the first variable which is this variable so we can say set index to this variable here set underscore index and open close parentheses we can write down the name of any one of these to set the index to it but we need to in place it so in place equals true we can print the data frame to see whether it works yeah so what we have here is the first column which is the species names then the weight specific metabolic rates of each of the species as well as the proportion of adenines here so it is like a kind of table so this this might look like a table with rows and columns which can be called later on on and used so we can use this column later on We don't need to print this out anymore to find a correlation between the two variables as you know you have columns and rows so this is column let's say zero one and two this this is for the index we can use correlation between this column and this column and then get one single datum that's what we want to get to do so you can have a variable to assign the data to it you can say that this is choreo or correlation you can round your data and write down your data frame which is df the name of the column in between square brackets so i have smr as the first one dot corel or core actually then open close parentheses data frame square brackets the name of the second variable so adding in proportion percentage that was the name of the second variable and we rounded it by two so i want to get two decimal points so let's see if i have everything correct on wrote everything correctly to do so we can print this one out and say the correlation between 
SMR and adenine proportion percentage is equal to the value that I have. To separate this, you can always have backslash notations. And then say that this is zero dot format your correlation variable. This is to print it out and see whether it works. I have a mistake here. Comma. Yep. So correlation between these two variables is so this variable and this variable is not point eighty four. So the closer this value to one, the stronger the correlation. So if it's higher than 75%, you would see that if it's higher than 75%, you'd say that the correlation is strong. So you have a strong correlation. That's one. Right. So that's how you do your correlation and analysis of adding in proportion to weight specific metabolic rates among several species so I had like seven species but I used five here which would do then you do the correlation between the uh, two data sets that you have I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you